Hi, this is Vance. In this video, we'll go through a metabox.io review as well as tutorial on how to create custom post types, create custom taxonomies, and create custom fields. So metabox.io recently received a lot of buzz after it launched an AppSumo deal, which is live right now, but it will end sometime in April, supposedly on 21st of April 2021. So if you are on the fence thinking whether you should buy Metabox or not, this might be a video that can give you a bit more sense about whether Metabox is for you or not. Because on the Apps and Module page, they claim to be an alternative to custom advanced custom fields, ACF or ACF Pro. So ACF Pro stopped their lifetime deal a couple of years ago. And ever since then, it's become quite popular so a lot of people are looking for lifetime deal alternatives to custom, to advanced custom fields pro, ACF pro, right? So when they see that Metabox is on Epsomo, right? And the, the unlimited sites license, which is a license tier three at 149 US dollars, it's very, very attractive. And it's slightly more expensive than ACF pro back in the days, I think. But either way, uh, if you're thinking, you definitely want to get the license tier 3 because of unlimited sites, all the pro extensions, and the Metabox all in one plugin, which is quite a big deal, actually, which you will see in, in later in this video. And all solutions. So all solutions right now is quite um, meh for, for now, but it will slowly grow, hopefully. So solutions are just... Uh, extensions, right, that allow you to use like things like testimonials, user avatar, out of the box without having to do any customizations at all. So, but I wouldn't go go into this in this video. And if you prefer to read it, I have written a review, which I'll leave in the description below. And if you want to support uh, me, you can use the AppSumo, my AppSumo affiliate link, which also will be in the description below. Okay, so. Very briefly, Metabox allows you to create 40 plus custom fields, allow you to create, allows you to create custom post types and custom post, custom taxonomies, right? Tags and categories that are attached to the custom post type. And of course, custom fields, you can apply to your regular posts, which uh, is your blog posts or your pages, or you can also apply to custom post types that were created by Metabox or any other custom post types created. So most importantly, it's very developer friendly. So the code, you can easily pick up the, pick out the code and customize it to any way you want. But uh, for most of us who are not developers, we would want to just look at a few of their extensions right now, okay? Although there are 30 plus extensions available currently in the lifetime deal, you will most likely only use a few unless you are a developer or you are a WordPress power user. And then most importantly, right, uh, it allows you to enable only the extension modules that you need. So you will reduce the bloat in the backend. Okay, let's jump right straight into the WordPress backend. So let's jump right straight into the WordPress, WordPress backend. So right at the start, right, you want to install the free Metabox plugin, which is the base, okay? And then once you've bought a license in your account backend, you'll be able to download the all-in-one Metabox plugin. So once you install that, they ask you to enter your license code, enter your license code, you will arrive at the dashboard. Okay, first and foremost, before go, proceeding further, right? You want to go to the extensions tab. By default, everything will be enabled, okay? Even if you don't have all this. So you will be enabled by default, and then of course it will, it will disable if you don't have it, if you don't have Elementor or Facet WP or Beaver Teamer. But you will only want to enable custom post type, Metabox Builder, which allows you to build custom fields from within your WordPress dashboard without going to the online generator, having to generate a PHP code and then putting it into your functions.php file. 
So the all-in-one plugin allows you to do this right within your WordPress dashboard, which is, I guess, a big deal for most of us, right? And then the Metabox group. Just these three extensions will be enough to create custom post types, custom taxonomies, custom fields, and create groups of custom fields so that it's more organized. So then you want to save the settings, okay? And then start by creating a post type. So I've created a review post type really, which we'll use it later, but I'll go through how to create a custom post type and show you how easy it is. So for demonstration sake, I'm just going to create a book custom post type. Okay, quite straightforward here so far. Labels, I wouldn't touch much unless you want to customize how it look like on the back end for a client or maybe for yourself. And then advanced tab, you would want to look at menu position after setting. So what this means is where do you want this custom post type to appear on the admin dashboard or the admin sidebar? So by default, it's set to pages, right? It will appear somewhere around here, just like how reviews is appearing here, okay? So if you're, okay, if you're fine with that, just leave it. And then pick a menu icon. If you don't pick a menu icon, this is what will happen. Let me show you. You won't see an icon there, you just see the text. I mean, that's fine. But if you want it to be a bit more visual, you can select any icon at all. Maybe just this, right? And then all the other settings I wouldn't touch. Then move on to support. So this is quite important because if you want excerpt to appear in your custom post type, you will need to enable this. You need to enable author if you want it as well and any other items. You, you don't have to enable custom fields because you're going to create custom fields anyway using Metabox, right? So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to enable the first five, okay? Then go on to taxonomies. So I will create a custom taxonomy later, so I would leave all this unchecked, okay? Update, then it's done. You can see the icon appearing right now, but there are no, there are no categories of text, there are no taxonomies attached to this custom post type. So I'm going to go ahead and create that right now. So the, the review type is for the review custom post type that I've created before this video. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create a new one as well. So maybe book genres, right? Genre, same thing as your custom post type. Labels, I'll leave it. Fans, I'll leave it. Post types. Now, I would want this to only apply for the book custom post type. So I'm going to uncheck the post and check book. And then click on publish. So now when I hover over books, right, you will see the taxonomy here right now, genres. Okay. Then next, of course, to create the custom posts, uh, the custom fields. The custom fields has already been been uh, created. This will apply. This will apply for reviews. So, but for the purpose of this tutorial again, I'm going to create a new field group. So this will be books book custom fields, right? And then I'll create a field. But before I create a field, maybe I want to create a group. I'm going to leave it as this. And then I'm going to create subfields, right? Maybe I'm going to create author. Maybe not author, but number of pages, for example. And then this can be it can be a, either a text or a number. I'll leave it as text for now. Number of pages. So ID is quite important because this is how we're going to identify this custom field. So it has to be something that is unique. So I just make sure I, I'm just making sure that it's unique here. Okay. Then everything else I can just leave it. Maybe I'm going to add a label description if I want to, but this is not, not needed. This is also not needed. Everything else can be, can be left unchecked. But if you want it to be required, of course, you want to, you want to check it required or read only prepend text, prepend text. So I'm going to put here prepend text, number of pages and call it in a space. Okay. Add field.
going to be an image. This can be a book cover. Image. Create another text. I name this as the publisher. Book publisher. Okay. And I'll just leave it as this for now. Right. For settings, post type, make sure that it applies for book and maybe you can just remove post so that it wouldn't appear there. The position of the meta box should it be after the content or at the side. So by default it's after the content, so it will appear right at the bottom there. And then everything else we can just leave it as it is. So we're gonna publish it. And then right now when I go over to books and I add a new book. You would see the custom post type, a uh, custom fields appearing at the bottom right now, right? Okay. So I wouldn't want to go through you. I wouldn't want to make you see me go through populating the content. So we're going to go ahead to go to you see reviews, which I've created before this video, right? So custom taxonomy is is done. Some dummy text is done, the title is done, and then the custom fields that are set up. So all this, this is a URL, this is a phone number, this is another URL, and this is a, this is a checklist. And then the exam is here, okay? So before I go to build the front end, I want to open up the custom fields that I've created because I'll need this ID to be able to pull the, the, the data from the custom posts and the custom fields. You will see what I mean in shortly. So of course, if you, were use, if you were to use Elementor or Beaver Thema, you wouldn't need to do this. But because there isn't a native integration with Oxygen at the moment, which they are working on, hopefully soon, so I have to use some sort of PHP function, right, to be able to pull the data from the custom post type. So it's only if you're not using Elementor, which is a very popular page builder, or Beaver Thema, you should be fine. Okay, you should be just but you just need to install the integrators, and then you'll be able to pull the data directly from the page builder itself in a visual interface. But for Oxygen Builder, it might be, it is a little bit more complicated in this sense. Okay. All right. So I'll keep this open. I'll close this. And then for Oxygen, uh, you're able to create templates that apply to custom post types. So I've already created a template for reviews. I'm going to go ahead and edit with Oxygen. All right, so you can see that I've already created the custom fields and it's already pulling data directly from the custom post types, custom fields, All right? So, but of course, how to, how to get here, right? Uh, if you're using Oxygen Builder, you'll see in just a short second. Okay, when I double click on this, right, you'll see this bunch of uh, weird strings of stuff in the short code. So this is the PHP function that is pulling the data. I'm just going to duplicate this and rebuild it so you can see how it, how it's done. Okay, I guess it's just, just going to remove everything that I've created just now. So the first one that I would want is the website, right? So I'll create a text link because I want people to be able to click on it. Double click on it. Insert data. PHP function return value. And the PHP function that I will use is this specifically for URLs and for texts. I'm going to remove the braces. And then this for this field, function arguments, it would be the ID. So we'll copy and paste the ID in. And then 
you can see that it appears. It's pulling the data from here already. So it's not as complicated as it sounds, but of course, if you're not familiar with PHP function or short codes, which I was, there is still proper documentation that can help you. And this doesn't apply just to Oxygen, but any other team or builders or anything, because PHP is the lifeblood of WordPress. Okay, once I duplicated it, I'm going to insert data again. PHP function return value using the same function name. I'm going to grab the custom field ID, paste it in here. I can move on to the next one. Just the Instagram link, all right? So I'm going to select all of this, insert data, function with PHP function return value again. Type in function name, grab the ID, paste it in, and there you have it, all right? Okay. Just going to make sure that all these are clickable. Place this. Place the URL link here. Okay, now for for a list in this case is a bit different. It will be a different function. So I believe it's this. This should be the function that we'll need to use. So I'll just add text, not text link. Use this value. And I'm going to grab the ID. It will appear in the list. Okay, so now this is done, All right? So this is how you're going to pull the data for Oxygen Builder. I hope this video has helped you understand a bit more about Metabox. If you want to buy, if you want to buy a license, uh, you can get it on AppSumo right now. It's at one four nine US dollars. If you compare it to the actual price on the website, which this is the amount that I paid for, okay, uh, last year, you would definitely want to get Metabox at this price point before it goes away sometime in April, supposedly twenty first April. As far as I know. Okay, and well, you could always purchase it, play around, make sure that, uh, see whether is it a good good fit for your use case or not. If it's not, then you can just refund it. Because I would think that most people who would jump on this deal would be WordPress developers who are a bit more familiar with PHP code, who are a bit more comfortable tinkering around with the backend. On WordPress, but if you're someone who is a bit who is very visual, you will even have some issues playing around with ACF Pro. Then maybe Metabox might not be for you, because it can be quite quite complicated at least at this point in time. But of course, the Metabox team did mention that they are going to make it a bit more user friendly. It's going to be a bit easier for non developers to use it in the near future, and hopefully they're going to ramp up on. The, num the amount of integrations with other popular page builders and plugins. So that's it for this video and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.